हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू स्कूल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन लाहौल लास्ट फ्री वीडियो आई विल शो यू अबाउट माय अकाउंट टीचर साइड स्कूल साइड्स पेरेंट साइड्स एंड एडमिन साइड्स सो यू कैन सी इट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन डू लाइक अ पेरेंट इन साइड आई विल लॉग इन दिस पेरेंट्स एंड दिस पेरेंट कैन शो हिज माई स्टूडेंट सो वो दिस इज द स्टूडेंट लाइक दिस इज द फोर पेरेंट्स बिकॉज दिस इज द पेरेंट नेम So these parents, whatever student assigned means uh, like uh, this is the sons, or the daughter, whatever they are, we need to show his sides. Okay. So first of all, we need to log in these parents' accounts. So I log out, and let's log out. I think password one two three four five six. One two three four five six. Okay. I can okay. I can space there. Okay, I log in. So here we can create a new man, my students. Otherwise, suppose whatever do you want to like, suppose some people will like uh, my sons, my daughters. So this is the parents account. So parents like uh, my sons. So you can type my sons. Okay, I am type typing like my students. So we can go is a clearly. So I will create a for this account name my students. So just go to back code. Inside you need to go resources, and inside you need to go layouts. Layout inside you need to go headers. Just to, I will zoom out now and I go down. So we can go last ones, the third one, fourth one. So I just copy and I put here and just I change to my student card and I put for this segment because we need a active class. Okay, now I will save this and I paste the page. So you can see it, my students because this is the admin side. Whatever assigned for these parents, this student list we need to show here. So I will click on the menu. So you can see it. This is the we need to create a new route. So just go back again code like the routes inside go to web. Okay, now just go to parents. Okay, just wait, wait. Okay, I just copy to parent control because we need to do inside parent control because we have already created parent control before. So just make here. Here you can change to parent control because we have already created before. You can see it here highlight right side showing. So just go to parent controllers inside go and you can search like uh, my students. So here is already created. So we can give this name, my students parent. So we know this is the parent because we need to show this is the my student in parent side. So I will change the name, my student parent. So just you can copy, okay? So just go down and you can type here parent side. Here I create the one functions, my student parents. And here I can use nulls. Just go back up and just copy all things and put here. Okay. Here the ID is equal to authentication ID because parents is login. We need to use this ID. So auth users inside ID. Okay. Now we need to change to administrator parents slash. Miss dot my students. We need to create for these files. So parent inside you can see it like here. Dashboard my account. So we need to create another file here. My student dot blade dot php. Okay. So is I think is good everything. Just now get such student. We don't need. So he, this is the parent ID. We don't need parent record. We don't need. And authentication ID we need because we are passing set variables and this variable we are passing set here. So I go to users inside my students means um, get my students. So you can see it here. We have created one functions like users star is a class name also which is the class there. So parents know and we have also made here condition about parents name who is a parents. Okay, now here you can see like all the condition there. The users tables class class ID wise class we can get. After user type is equal to three, three means is a students, and what is the user table inside parents ID? Let's show you, so you can clearly understand. I open the database. Okay, so just wait few seconds. Okay, 
is taking time to load because I am opening first time this reasons okay now opens I just go to school.com inside you can go to users so here admin can assign parents so his ID there here so some parents we have already assigned you see this is the year so you can find out the IDs so you can see it here like a parent side user and he is a delete his account not deleted and order by we are making descending order so new students going to first like whatever we are assigned okay I think now is good and yes everything is good so let's start now we are not only left query because left query we don't need because we are finding the parent list and we are class also don't need a left query but is left query is good suppose sometimes he parents can add assign the class not assign the class for the students so I think is a my get accounts parents ID because we are passing the year login ID okay now good so let's go back again course and I can go inside admin admin inside you can go to parents inside you need to go my my students just copy and paste here and you can remove like us I can remove and I can show you first I can show you not let's remove this one uh, otherwise there are the errors and also I can remove the filters okay and also I can remove like this name let's refresh the page so you can see it okay i refresh the page so you can see is a parent student but we just need to change to name my students so parent student list to change my student here i can change my students i go back again refresh the page so you can see my student my student here also name change i will change let's go to controller and just change to here parent student list to my student I refresh the page so you can see it my students okay now we don't need to give permission about delete so let's remove these all the buttons extra button just remove the actions and also you can remove just the files names okay so he can see the profile pic he's a student name you can see email you can see parent name we don't need to know because he is a no his parents so parent name we don't need to show okay just remove and just remove here okay let's back again refresh the page so you can see it now now let's log into admin we can check which information need to show in parent side so new private windows and i log in now to admin okay so admin at gmail.com let's click on the sign in so I log in, search so go to student list. So we can think which which information we need to show. Profile pic, email, admission number, role number. I think class we can show gender, we can show date of birth. I think this is the information we can show him. Admission date also show. Blood group, I, I think this is the information we need to show. So the parents need to know about his son information. Okay, so just go to student in admin side and inside go to list and the chest you can copy here like uh, we can copy all after we can remove one by one whatever we don't need this one okay i put here just go down and i copy all profile pic to create dates okay i copy and i can put here to here okay okay let's go back again and I refresh the page so you can see the, all the information show. Let's make a overflow auto and that's because we are already did so just go up and just copy style overflow auto. Where is the weird dits? Okay, card body. So we can put here. Okay, let's go back again and refresh the page. So it looks now better but we need to remove some information because we don't need it. let's first remove the parents names so just go back then code we don't need parents names just go down and remove the parent name okay after we don't need a status because status only for admin so we just need to remove the status let's go back again replace the page so you can see it like a uh, my students because of the we have assigned for this teachers i can show you suppose you can go to teacher sites 
and here you can click like uh, not a teacher just go to parent sites sorry and inside you click with the my student so it's my student view assign suppose i can assign new one okay let's go back again student list and i copy 11 and i search here 11 and i will click on the add to add student to parents so you can see students successfully assigned and here you can see parent names let's go to back to parent sites and i refresh the page so you can see new parents assigned i have seen this created date their height weight caste date of birth gender class roll number admission number date student name and profile pic so suppose uh, this is the this is the parents see he is a son with all the information like with his uh, unique id i think we don't want to show unique id to parents side just remove the unique id the parent sites okay save and refresh the page just need to show profile pic student name email admission number roll number other information to show so is a parent side you can see is a my student whatever assigned to admin side so i hope you can understand these videos and you can understand about this module how to show my student in parent side and we have already assigned before video to parent in admin side also we are getting the data inside database using the parent id and uh, i can show you do you want to see more so this is the our, our mysql query inside a user model okay and let's show you this is the task so you can understand here how to searching so but first of all you can searching after you click on add to student to parents so you click on the add button so this is and after you can remove suppose let's i will remove so these parents can remove in my parent account means parent side here okay i think i can show you this is the routes how to work so you can better understand suppose i will click here this is the student list one type of we can make search so you can find your student list and after you click on the add parent add student to parents so just we have created for this routes in admin side go to where and here you can search so student id and parent id so you can see it here in parent controller you see user controller student id against the funds and we have passed the parent id parent id means um, this is the id we have passed inside you are 16 okay so this is the id we are assigning to user tables i hope you are clear and now we need to do just i can remove these parents for the means the student we need to remove for these parents so just go to back again and i refresh so you can see it here not found because we have removed let's add again so just here there i just click on the add to class again add to student to parents so you can see it here there okay you just make a reset button so it's showing only parent student list and here in the search student and suppose you can search so you, we can find out the new module here okay so you just refresh here so you can see it so in this video i will explain how to do my students in a parent size parent suppose you log in as a parent so you need to see so your son daughter so you can see it okay so do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching